Welcome to CAD Tutorials, and in this video, I'll be covering practice problem 11.3. Now, given this circuit over here, it has a voltage source, a resistor of value 3 ohms, and an inductor of impedance of J1 ohm, right? So that is what we have over here, and we are asked to solve the following things. So the first part is asking us for the power the power, which is, this is a symbol for average power. So it's asking for average power absorbed by the resistor, which I just denoted using R and L for the resistor and the inductor separately, right? So let's start with that. We're just gonna find the power absorbed by each of these. So to start with, you can just say, the power absorbed by the inductor is zero watts because a capacitor and an inductor do not absorb power. So that is that, you would actually solve the f that part of the question. So now let's find the power absorbed, or the average power absorbed by the resistor. So to do that, we're first gonna find I in the circuit, which is the current which flows through all of the elements. And you can do that quickly by saying I, so from V is equal to ZI, you can say I is equal to E divided by Z, and our V supplied is that. And our Z, or total impedance in the, in the circuit is three plus J. So this should give you a current, and the current should be 50.596 with an angle of 26.565 degrees in amperes. So that is the current which is flowing through the circuit. How can we use this to actually find our excuse me, to find our average power absorbed by the resistor. So we know for sure that the average power is the real part of our instantaneous power, which is given by half Vm, Im. This is the amplitude of the voltage and the amplitude of the current, cosine of the angle of the voltage subtract the angle of the current. So now we know the current through all of the elements, all of these are in series, which means the current which flows through here is also the current that flows through there. So you don't necessarily have to find another current, but we now want to specifically focus on this point. So we have to take the, the voltage which actually flows through that point. You can either multiply this current by the resistor value or just do voltage division. So we're just gonna find the voltage which is across the three ohm resistor. And to do that, I'm just going to take this I, which flows through everything, and multiply it by the value of the resistor. So this is basically Ohm's law, V is equals to IR. So I, which I found above, multiplied by 3. So that is all I have to do to find the voltage, which is across that resistor value of 3. So let me punch this quickly into my calculator and see what I find. Multiply by three. And the answer to this, which is the voltage which is across the resistor itself, is 151.788 with an angle of 26.5656 degrees. This is in volts. So you can now proceed to substitute these values into this formula. Now let's do this here. Let's just squeeze it here. So the average power absorbed by the resistor is half of the amplitude of our voltage across the resistor, which is 151.788, multiplied by the amplitude of the current, which flows through everything, 50 plus 596, multiplied by cosine of the angle associated with the voltage, which is 26. 0.5656 degrees, subtract the, what's this? The amplitude or the, the value of the angle. So this is basically just gonna be zero, right? And cosine of zero is just one, which means our, what's this? Which means our absorbed power just be half, multiply by that and that. So let me just put this into my calculator and see what I found. 151.788 multiplied by 
right? And the answer which you should expect is, so the power absorbed by the resistor should be 3.84 kilowatts. So now I have the answers to the first part of the question, which asks for the power absorbed or the average power absorbed by the resistor as well as the power, average power absorbed by the inductor. Moving on to the second part of the question, it is asking us for the average power supplied by this voltage source. So we use a similar approach. Average power is half of Vm, In, cosine, theta V, etc. Theta I. Now we have the amplitude of our voltage from the voltage source itself, and that should be 160 in our case. Right, 160, and we have the amplitude of the current which flows through everything because everything is in series. So we have 50, right? Over here, we have 50 plus 596, and that is going to be multiplied by cosine of the difference of the angles, which is 45 degrees, subtract 26.565 degrees. And we're just going to put this into our calculator quickly to find the average power supplied by our voltage source. So multiply by 160 and multiply by 50.596 and then 45 subtract 26.565. And the answer we get is 3.8 four kilowatts. So you see that the power supplied and the power absorbed by the resistor are equal, which confirms the point that the power absorbed by the inductor is zero. So all of this power which is supplied goes directly to our resistor. And that is how you basically solve this problem. If you like this video, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, just do that quickly. Peace.